What's going on everybody? It's time to do an unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing in a while. And well, actually I did one pretty recently which was about uh, Tokyo Ghoul. I picked up the first uh, box set which collected the original run of Tokyo Ghoul. And this is the second box set that I pick up. And this is one that I think is really worth it. It's a little more on the pricier side compared to the Tokyo Ghoul set. I haven't opened it at all yet. I have it right here. I wanted to open it with you all. So we're going to open it right now. And we're going to check it out and hopefully we can do this video pretty quickly. Uh, this is for a manga series called Claymore. So I don't know how many of you know Claymore or fans of Claymore. <laughs> I have a dog over here is going, going bananas. So let's check it out. This is Claymore. This thing is huge, as you can see. This is a big old box set. Check this thing out. This thing is massive. This thing is huge. Check it out. You'll probably hear the dog in the background. He's like doing some cleaning over there. He's cleaning himself up. Check this out. This thing is immaculate. It looks really good. The colors. The colors are solid. I wanted to find like a decent lighting to go with the box and it's got a handle like the other one does so you can take it on the go with you if you so choose and so far from what I've seen on the outside I'm really excited to open this thing it's pretty heavy too and so let's get out my trusty knife and we will check out the contents Oof. this is gonna be tough to open so let's see we can open this thing and I'll show you what we got going on. So, right there is our lead character. And the box set itself, right here. There are hands intertwined, as you can see there. And then here is the box set. It's a pretty nice collection. I think it's like 27 volumes. There we are. I'll give you a better look at them. Right, everything that is in the set. And I will pull them out individually so we can check them all out. We can check out all the volumes. All 27 volumes of it. It looks like there's like a little booklet in here too. And we'll check out the illustrations. I guess that's what it is. Illustrations booklet. I do have some history with this and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I wanted to talk about the history that I have with this manga or a little bit not really so much the manga itself as much as the series um so here's the first volume and so pretty much my history with claymore is that i had seen the anime an eternity ago i watched the anime and i wasn't a huge fan of the anime and i think somebody at some point had told me like the manga was was better or something or like it went on from where the anime leaves off and I figured well I mean if it continues on the story then you know maybe it's worth you know checking out I decided to eventually you know check it out uh, try to get into it try to get into the the manga I, did, I wasn't going to read it at first because like I wasn't a huge fan of the anime and I was like well if I didn't like the anime why would I you know waste my time checking out the manga but I'm thinking, you know what, just because like I didn't like the anime doesn't mean that the manga is not going to be good. It just could be that the way it was translated, you know, wasn't maybe the best translation or something. I just thought the character was like extremely boring. Like I didn't think there was anything like at all special about her. I didn't think she had any attributes that were super um, noticeable. Like she seemed really basic and plain. That really turned me off, you know, when I was when I was reading the manga. That really, I, mean, I was watching the anime, that really turned me off to the series, and I just ultimately decided, you know what, I'll, I'll give it a shot, I'll check out the manga, and maybe, you know what, I'll enjoy the manga a lot more, and what also ultimately, you know, pushed me to, what ultimately also pushed me to check out the manga was that I've been reading Berserk, and I'm reading Berserk for, for videos, and if you watch my channel, if you're like a, a watcher of my channel, you know that I've uh, been talking about that for a while, that I was going to do Berserk videos, 
and I finally dropped my first Berserk video, which was uh, for Volumes 1 and 2. And I thought it would be cool, you know, since like I'm doing these Berserk videos, I thought it would be cool to start doing Claymore as well. I figured, you know, I'd start reading Claymore, and I'd do maybe do videos about Claymore at some point in time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going down the line, and I'm going to start reading Claymore. Um, it's been long enough, you know, since since I read, since I saw the anime for Claymore that that I think enough time has passed that I really don't remember it that well. This is really cool. This is solid artwork. I like this artwork a lot. That's really cool artwork. Um, it's been long enough that, like, maybe, you know, when I watched it, because I first watched it when I was, like, 18, 19, and it was recommended to me by an ex-girlfriend of mine, and me and her are still friends. Uh, we're still friends to this day, but she recommended to me, recommended me uh, Claymore, and... I didn't like the anime, but I think she read the manga, and that's where she recommended it to me, because she enjoyed the manga, like anything inappropriate is going on there. I think she enjoyed the manga, and then she recommended me the show or whatever, because I was more into anime, I wasn't really into manga yet. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't really into manga yet, and I ended up watching the anime, and I didn't like the anime. And I was like, this sucks. <laughs> I was like, I wasted my time watching like 20-something episodes. I think I think it's like 24 episodes or something, the the series. And the character to me just never felt like, like she ever developed. And I think that's kind of a trait with these characters. I think they're like, they're like deadened. You know, like where they don't really have emotions. I think they're like, like witchers, if I'm not mistaken. I think in a sense they are like witchers or like they just don't have any emotions. Or they're not, or they're not supposed to have emotions, and if they de if they develop emotions, they have to be put down or something. If I remember correctly, you know what? Because it's been an eternity. Like I said, I, I read it. I mean, I saw the anime when I was like a teenager. I want to show you the illustrations. So this booklet right here has the illustrations. So I'll maybe go down the line and show you, you know, like the pages from from this. So you can check it out if you haven't bought this yourself. If maybe you're apprehensive and you wanted to see somebody else's. You know, take on the box set before spending like 200 bucks yourself. I can't show you this unless I... Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, in case you, you wanted to see somebody else pick it up first before, you know, spending the money yourself. I am really enjoying this artwork. It looks incredible. And it's been a long time since I watched the anime, so I'm thinking, like, maybe, you know, if I watched it now, as, like, an adult, because I watched it when I was, like, I said, like, you know, 18, 19, and, like, I wasn't the most patient person in the world when I was, like, 18, 19, and maybe, you know, now I'll enjoy it a lot more. I'm just doing this to cover up certain things. I don't know if YouTube is gonna hold things against me or not. I mean, I really like this artwork a lot, so I'm hoping that, you know, maybe it was just because of the fact that I had you know, watched it so long ago that that's the reason that I wasn't, you know, a huge fan of it. And, yeah, you know, like, I really like this artwork a lot, and I'm kind of screwing it up. I'm, like, I'm not doing the artwork a whole lot of justice because I'm, like, centering everything. That artwork is incredible. Like, you can see how, how detailed this artwork is, and damn, dude, some of this stuff is really hard to... I'm gonna have to be careful. <laughs> This right here, this one panel over here looks like some H, uh, some HR Geiger stuff going on right here. Or whatever that dude's name is, I'm terrible with names. Yeah, I think that's what it is, HR Geiger. Naked women on every other, every single page, there's just like naked women everywhere. But the artwork, dude, is pretty solid. Like, I think the artwork is incredible, and that alone has my interest, and I'm really looking forward to checking out where the series is gonna go. Do I have complaints about picking up this box set? Not a one. I don't have any complaints as far as the presentation. I think it's solid presentation. I like the box that it comes in. I think it's a nice box, as you can see. And it's pretty... Um, I want to say like that this is going to save some space because I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it right there on my shelf. So you're going to probably end up seeing it in my videos going forward. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty nice set, man. Like, it, it's really economical, you know, in space. And I might be able to, like, even find somewhere else to put it. But, yeah, I mean, I have no complaints. It is, like, 200 bucks. So if you have 200 bucks and you want to get this box set, I definitely think that it's worth it if you have the money 
to burn, you know, you don't mind, like, you know, tax season's like literally like we're right in the middle of tax season. And, and if you want to like, you know, splurge and buy yourself something, I, I think that this is not a bad, not a bad deal. It's a nice hefty box at uh, 27 volumes for 200 bucks. I think it's even more if you buy them individually, I'll put the price, you know, somewhere right here, I'll put the price, you know, I think it was more expensive to buy them individually than if you just bought the box set. But the fact is, you know, like you're buying this box set, so you're going to end up paying taxes for shipping. And that's going to raise it like about 14 bucks or so. But even then, I think you're still saving like $50 altogether. So I'm definitely going to be starting this soon. I'm doing Berserk uh, Let's Reviews, and I'm probably going to jump on this. And that was, for the most part, the main reason that I ended up, you know, picking up this box set was because I was doing the Berserk Let's Reviews. Let me just, let's let's get a thumbnail out of this. So yeah, I was doing like Berserk Let's Reviews and that was kind of like my main, you know, reason for, for picking this up. And like I saw that there was like one box set left that was available directly from Amazon. And now if you want to get it, you have to get it from like other sellers and whatnot, like third party sellers. And I got it because it was the last one from Amazon. And I was like, dude, I, gotta, I need to get my hands on this. And I also just wanted to unbox this with you all. I wanted to have some content for the channel because like it's going to be pretty dry. A lot of the stuff I have coming up, it's all like scripted. And whenever I do scripted videos, they take forever because I have to write scripts. I have to record the script. I have to edit my script down. After I've recorded it, I edit my voice down. I take all my breathing out of the videos. And like I do a lot of work you know, for videos like my Let's Reviews and Let's Talk About and whatnot, you know, it's a lot of work that I put into them and it takes a long time to get those out. And it's nice to be able to have a video like this where I can just open up a box set, show you what's inside, give my honest opinions about it. And like I said, I think this is this is worth it. I'm just really well made, really well put together. Shonen and Jump dash Viz Media. I like the way that our lead looks, even though I wasn't a fan of her in the anime. I thought she was extremely basic in the anime, but I like her design. I like the way the artwork looks. I showed you pages from the illustration book that I couldn't show you too much of because there's a whole lot of naked lady stuff going on. And I don't want to take any chances. I don't want this video to get demonetized because I'm trying to grow this channel and I can't grow this channel if my video doesn't get shown to a lot of people. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching me unbox this big old girl right here. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you think that you'll end up picking this up if you haven't already? Uh, what box sets do you own? What is your favorite box set? Do you recommend me to pick up any box sets? I only have as of right now, I just have this one and I have the Tokyo Ghoul set that I unboxed in my other video. So that's it for me please take care of yourselves i will catch you next time my next video is probably going to be a let's talk about about near automata and hopefully i'll get that out the following week after this video so yeah please take care of yourselves until next time we meet By the hands of God, I stand as a wrench between your wheelie cog Fastening my belt, bracing myself to withstand against all odds Himself shatter on his battle ready, murder dogs Rip the skin off your horses, triumph is smash the sorceries Lethal forces, the failure of your ambitions is more painful than divorces Smash your dome piece on the doorway, when the door hits, that's it Call it quits, zipped up in plastic, cremated, melted like elastic Dreams don't mean shit, in this life they don't exist